Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Today on Second Drafts, we're going over how to create a table of contents and a logical table of contents, or navigation document, for your ebook. Hopefully you should already know what a table of contents is, but you may not be familiar with a logical table of contents, sometimes referred to as a navigation document, or NCX view. The logical table of contents is basically what an ebook uses to tell the reader the progress they've made in the book. In Kindle, there is a go to menu, which allows the reader to see certain sections of the book, and this is where the logical table of contents shows up. It will also show the reader how far they are and where chapters are located by navigation points at the bottom, if the Kindle version supports it. Both items are important because they help readers navigate through your book and make the user experience more friendly. The logical table of contents is actually required by Amazon, so it's important to ensure it's in your book. In my personal experience with creating ebooks in the past, making a navigation document and a logical table of contents was the single most time consuming, frustrating, and confusing part. Since finding Sigil, however, that has changed completely. With Sigil, as long as you have chapters and your title properly formatted with heading tags, all you need to do is click a few buttons and you have both a logical table of contents and a table of contents in the ebook itself. It's so easy, in fact, that we don't even need to switch to the computer to show you how to do it. First, open your ebook you've been working on in Sigil, then click on Tools along the top. Then hover over Table of Contents and click Generate Table of Contents. This will bring up a new screen which will show you what's going into the Table of Contents. Again, as long as you formatted the chapters correctly, all your chapters should show up here and have the names for them intact. If you see any blank entries, it means that there's a heading tag without any text inside and you might want to check on that. Otherwise, you can click on the text area and type whatever you want for the navigation point. If there are any entries that you don't want included in the table of contents, just take the check mark out of the include column and it will be removed immediately. Once you're satisfied with how the table of contents will look, click OK at the bottom right and it will generate the table of contents for you. Now, Click on Tools again, hover over Table of Contents, and select Create HTML Table of Contents. This will make a regular table of contents that can be found within the ebook itself, and will have all the same markers as the logical table of contents we just made. And there you have it. We just made the table of contents and the logical table of contents with the click of a few buttons. Trust me, this is much easier than creating it manually. One thing to note is that if you later add things in that you want in the table of contents, you'll need to go through the process again to update it, as it doesn't do so automatically. Just be sure to do it in the same order. Generate table of contents, and then create HTML table of contents to ensure everything is updated properly. That's all that we have for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And remember that Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.